In a world where global security is a paramount concern, the United States faces complex challenges in maintaining its nuclear deterrent capabilities. President Biden's administration has recently proposed a significant development in its nuclear arsenal by introducing the B-6113, a modernized nuclear bomb. This new weapon aims to replace an older, more dangerous bomb, the B-83. The decision to develop the B-6113 comes at a time when the global security landscape is evolving rapidly, with emerging threats from nations like North Korea, Iran, China, and Russia. The American Nuclear Arsenal The United States nuclear weapons stockpile is composed of two main categories, warheads carried on missiles and aircraft dropped gravity bombs. Among the gravity bombs, two prominent series are the B-61, developed in the 1960s by Los Alamos, and the B-83. The B-61 series stands out due to its unique dial-a-yield control system, which allows the explosive yield of the bomb to be adjusted according to mission requirements. This flexibility ranges from a mere 0.3 kilotons to a staggering 360 kilotons, with the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan, having an equivalent yield of 15 kilotons. These bombs can be delivered by various aircraft, including B-2 and B-21 bombers, as well as F-35, F-15E, and F-16 fighters. Among the 13 B-61 variants, six remain in active service, one is under development, and the rest have been canceled or retired. Each variant has a specific role, such as the tactical B-61-3, B-61-4, and B-6110 used against above-ground targets and the strategic B-6117, which is designed for general nuclear war against strategic targets. The B-6111 serves as a bunker buster with a steel case for penetrating up to 20 feet of earth. The B-6112, the most accurate version, was developed in the 2010 to replace older variants. The B-83, on the other hand, can only be delivered by the B-2 Spirit Bomber and possesses a colossal 1.2 megaton warhead, making it the largest in America's arsenal. The birth of the B-6113. The proposed B-6113 represents the 13th and latest variant in the B-61 series, but it will not be entirely new. This modern weapon will recycle B-6117 warheads with 360 kiloton yields, ensuring that the overall size of the U.S. nuclear stockpile remains unchanged. Approximately 215 B-6117 bombs are estimated to be in the stockpile, and the B-6113 will incorporate these warheads into a casing and tail kit similar to the B-6112. The development of the B-6113 can be seen as a compromise aimed at resolving a long-standing disagreement between Democrats and Republicans over the fate of the aging B-83-1 bomb. According to Hans Christensen, a nuclear weapons expert at the Federation of American Scientists, the B-6113 will incorporate warheads from the 1980s and 1990s era B-6117 bombs. The decision to create this bomb reflects the Pentagon's recognition of an evolving security environment without explicitly naming countries that may be driving this development. However, potential targets could include North Korea, Iran, China, and Russia. The B-6113 is expected to provide the president with additional options against harder and large area military targets, while also incorporating modern safety, security, and accuracy features recently developed for the B-6112 bomb. The potential strategic applications of the B-6113 are a subject of debate among experts. One notable feature is its ability to penetrate the ground, making it a candidate for use against buried facilities, such as those found in North Korea or Iran. An early analysis suggests that the B-6113 could be directed toward North Korea, given the B-6112's initial purpose of targeting buried facilities. The need for the B-6113 suggests that the underground facilities of potential adversaries may be deeper and better constructed than previously assumed. This revelation underscores the evolving nature of nuclear deterrence in a rapidly changing global security landscape. Replacing the B-83 The primary motivation behind the B-6113's development is the retirement of the B-83 bomb, which, at 1.2 megatons, is the largest in America's inventory. 
The B-83 was initially considered for retirement, but the Trump administration chose to retain it for undisclosed reasons. The B-83's role is to obliterate large targets, but it lacks the accuracy and modern features that the B-6113 offers. The new bomb is expected to compensate for the B-83's ability to create a massive nuclear fireball 1.2 miles in diameter. The B-6113 joins a series of new nuclear weapons proposed since the end of the Cold War in 1991. The B-6112, approved during the Obama administration, aimed to modernize the majority of the B-61 tactical arsenal. The Trump administration introduced the W-7062 warhead on the Trident D-5 missile for Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines with a 5 kiloton yield. The B-6113 marks the third such weapon proposed over the past three presidential administrations. Each of these weapons involves recycling design and nuclear materials from older weapons. Furthermore, the Department of Defense states that the number of B-6112 bombs produced will be reduced by the same amount as the number of B-6113 bombs produced, ensuring no net increase in the overall number of nuclear weapons in the U.S.'s stockpile. Mixed Reactions While the introduction of the B-6113 has received a mixed response, some experts consider it a modest step in the right direction. House Armed Services Committee Chairman Mike Rogers and Senator Roger Wicker believe that the new variant will provide commanders, particularly in the Pacific and European regions, with more flexibility against a range of target sets. They argue that the United States must make more dramatic transformations in its deterrent posture to address the growing arms race with China and Russia effectively. If approved and funded by lawmakers, the Energy Department's National Nuclear Security Administration will be responsible for producing the B-6113. The Pentagon has noted that modern aircraft, including the B-21 Raider stealth bomber, will be capable of delivering the bomb. However, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter will not be equipped to deploy the B-6113. The Evolving Threat Landscape The development of the B-6113 highlights the ever-evolving threat landscape that the United States faces in the realm of national security. While the Cold War saw a significant focus on nuclear deterrence against major superpower adversaries, the post-Cold War era has brought new challenges. The emergence of non-state actors, nuclear proliferation, and the modernization of the nuclear capabilities of certain countries have shifted the dynamics of nuclear deterrence. North Korea, for instance, has been a source of concern due to its active pursuit of nuclear weapons and ballistic missile capabilities. Its underground facilities, designed to protect its nuclear assets from preemptive strikes, pose a unique challenge to the United States. This is where the B-6113's ability to penetrate the ground becomes critical. Iran has also been a subject of international concern, with its pursuit of nuclear technology that could potentially be weaponized. The B-6113 could be seen as a response to the possibility of hidden or fortified Iranian nuclear facilities. While diplomatic efforts have been made to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions, the U.S. must maintain a credible deterrent to safeguard its interests and those of its allies in the region. China's rapid military modernization, including the expansion of its nuclear arsenal and delivery systems, has led to growing concerns in Washington. The United States has historically maintained a policy of maintaining a secure second strike capability, ensuring that even in the event of a nuclear attack, it could retaliate with devastating force. The B-6113's introduction could be viewed as part of this strategy to address the changing geopolitical landscape and emerging threats. Russia, with its vast and diverse nuclear arsenal, continues to be a major nuclear power. While the B-61 may not be specifically designed to counter Russian nuclear capabilities, it reflects the ongoing U.S. efforts to adapt to a world where great power competition is on the rise. It is essential for the U.S. to possess a modern, flexible, and responsive nuclear arsenal to effectively deter potential adversaries. Will the B-6113 impose stronger deterrence? Deterrence has been a cornerstone of U.S. national security strategy for decades. It is the concept of dissuading potential adversaries from taking hostile actions by convincing them that the costs and risks of such actions would far outweigh any potential benefits. 
In the realm of nuclear deterrence, the United States seeks to prevent adversaries from considering the use of nuclear weapons through the credible threat of retaliation. The B-6113 is a part of this deterrence strategy. Its very existence, with its enhanced accuracy and penetration capabilities, sends a clear message to potential adversaries. Any attempts to undermine U.S. security interests through nuclear aggression will be met with a decisive response. The goal is not to encourage the use of nuclear weapons, but to prevent it through a credible deterrence posture. Furthermore, deterrence extends beyond nuclear capabilities to encompass conventional forces, alliances, and diplomatic efforts. The United States, in conjunction with its allies, seeks to deter aggression in all forms and at all levels. The B-6113 is just one component of this broader deterrence framework. The international order faces a range of challenges, from the proliferation of nuclear weapons to the emergence of new global powers. The United States must navigate this complex environment by ensuring the security of its interests and those of its allies. The B-6113, as a modernized and flexible nuclear weapon, reflects the nation's commitment to maintaining a strong and effective deterrence while actively pursuing diplomatic solutions to global security challenges. But then again, is the development of a new nuclear bomb a cost-efficient security solution for the United States? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please subscribe to Beyond Life. I know doing these things is a chore, but with those little clicks, you can help our channel grow and allow us to produce more value-oriented content just like this. Allow us to earn your every subscription. That's it for now. Stay safe and see you in the next one.